Hello and Planet welcome back to complete. another part of Let's Play Sins of a Solar Empire. And I have my new mic now. I bought this yesterday, so this is my mic test. And uh, the other thing I bought yesterday was I pre-purchased the Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. And Our I'm impressed. Has arrived. I'm very, is it time? very impressed. When you buy the game, you get access to the uh, the beta. And, like I said, I'm impressed. It's, I didn't think they could make this game any more pretty than it already is. But uh, they found a way. They, they made it even better than it is. Construction uh, the new finished. faction system is that there's two of each faction. A loyalist and a rebel faction. I won't go into too much detail for those of you who want to find out for yourself. But, but um... They do have new technologies and different ships for each faction. They have the same basic technology. Like, everyone would have these bombers if you were an advent, no matter if you were the rebel or the loyalist. And they're the same basic ships, but each has a new capital ship and a new mega Our ship. Word shall be spread. Called a, a Titan. And those things kick some ass. We understand. I'm gonna try and put a space station and such on this dead asteroid. I'm just gonna have a uh, colonizer capture the asteroid things there. But uh, yeah, like I said, spent all of yesterday playing on the Sins beta. Awesome game. Really, really awesome game. Now, what ship was it? Group Construction items, finished. Sign up combat abilities. Able to support vast numbers of drone strike craft. Support ship that trades off firepower. The, now then, the Revelation Battlecruiser. I think that's the one Book of Guns asked for. And I was going to get a new one to head up a second fleet anyway, so that uh, he will get that when it's built. Apparently I already had this thing ready and waiting, so let's hope I can uh, get there and get set up before anything drastically bad happens at this asteroid like somebody else claiming it. It's a pretty powerful position right next to the sun, but it would mean that pirates coming this side of the map would probably pass through this system, unless obviously they went to the side. So. Um, pretty powerful position for me to have like I said I want to try and capture along this way so I've blocked off the wormhole this uh, Helenos and Dresda they're kind of secondary because I can have that as a defensive line and that so they're kind of secondary to uh, Construction my immediate finish. plans right now I want to get the planets that I need and then sit and upgrade them Completely forgot I had that thing. Oh well. Oh. Now then. Capital ship. Revelation Battle Cruiser. I hope that's the one you wanted, Book, because it's the one you're getting. And who is this? This uh, Radiance Battle Cruiser. It looks like Fairy Goose. So it looks like you and Book of Guns will be heading up the next fleet. Actually, no, I'm going to have At you go last. join the uh, the main fleet, Fairy Goose. And uh, this is your ship. Rather pretty. Lots of laser weaponry, you can't really see very much of it. But uh, that's a fairly powerful ship. There's the, uh, the missionary vessel, the little colonizer frigate. Finished. The Unity senses a pirate raid is inevitable. No, I really want those metal asteroids. I'm running far too low on metal. I'm actually going to sell some of my crystal to buy some metal. The Unity cleanses all. I 
Just gonna uh, keep my eyes on this. The price on our head has increased. And I've actually got game sound now, so this means I'll be enjoying my let's plays much more. I was tempted to do Dwarf Fortress today, but I still haven't uh, fixed that bug with the giant rats coming from the small rats. Because my iguanas don't hunt them. Pirate raiders have departed. Okay, this guy's uh, ready, so I think we're going to have him like in the middle somewhere, probably around here. I will capture this asteroid, I'm sure I can do something useful with it. I think I can put a few military stations around it. So let's go get Book of Guns. There's no point in moving them yet. I think what we'll do is, do we have any cruisers? Uh, we can get a couple of drone hosts for you. And then just a bunch of disciple vessels to get your little fleet started. And then we're just going to save up so we can get this guy turned into a space station. Just going to pause this here a second, need to cough. Okay, I'm back. I've got a bit of a cold and uh sounds pretty minging when I cough, so I didn't want to put you through that. But, uh, especially if you're wearing headphones. Wouldn't have been pleasant. What do I actually need? Just a, a thousand credits, that's not too bad. I can, I can do that. Scout frigate, how dare you? How very dare you? you if we're lucky, speak. we might get to see Fairy Goose hit this little guy here. None shall survive. It's Fairy Goose I want to be zoomed in on. Oh wow, that's pretty. So apparently Fairy Goose, no mercy on the little guys. Doesn't particularly care if you're the big strong capital ship or a scout frigate, he's still going to hit you in the face. As hard as it can. I think we've actually got one of... Yes, we have one of these little metal extractors now. So, uh, that's increasing our metal supply. That's lovely. Phase jump underway. And we have the beginnings of a space station next to this dead asteroid. I'm going to put a trade port on there. So that this system actually generates some money rather than... Losing money. And, uh, oh, on the new one, phase space looks different as well. Each faction has different like phase jump looks. It's pretty pretty epic. Has I think I might go have uh, Fairy Goose and who was our first ship again? Oh yeah, King W. Bush. Go Say have them no capture more. this planet. It's Terran planet here. And then all we would need is that desert planet, and we would have our defensive line established planet-wise. And then all we'd need to do is actually put the defences on there. This is still a pretty small fleet, to be fair, but with two Strength capital ships unity. on it, it won't have any trouble with the uh, local defence militia pe type people. Starbase is taking a little bit longer than I would like. Don't particularly like having a uh, vulnerable Starbase half constructed Strength there. And unity. We are listening. How much any matter does that take? Go we'll, we'll do it. With one voice. I'll with one voice here. Yeah. I mean, hopefully this mic sounds okay on YouTube. I played it back through. Strength uh, and unity. A little recording on my desktop that I did before I started this, and it sounds okay to me. Strength and unity. Let's see here, are you done? With that, there's that missionary vessel. We're going to send him up there. He For can the take unity. that asteroid. Strength and unity. Is it time? Almost.
Say no more. Stand by for phase jump. It looks like uh, Furry Gusta is the first one in. Our time has come. He's always been eager. Kit Kornos, I think that's that little dinky asteroid. Oh, holy Jesus. This is a lot of local militia. You may speak. Shouldn't give us too much problems, not with uh, two capital ships. Still on the bottom here, this is for a minor faction, these guys have a lot of ships. Did he just... Oh, we might lose this colony before it's actually established, so I'm not going to spend any money on it just yet. Now the high priority for everyone is going to be to take out the siege frigates. Well, that guy chose the wrong time to go past. This is what happens when you colonize a planet too quickly. Fighters for Furry just to give them a bit of bomb cover. And what's this? Purchase next level, no thanks. I'd rather they earn their way up. Just keep an eye on the uh, big map here, what's that? A single disciple vessel. Well, you know what? That could be a sign of things to come, so... Drone capacity. Enhanced preservation. What's this? More drone capacity. Uh, punitive measures. We'll have some of that. And now, I want... Another planet joins the unity. Some fighters there. See, so, yeah, I think we have lost a couple of ships this turn. Was this guy actually firing? Enlighten us. Away with these defilers. I'm not sure if he just fired or got fired at. Looks like he's getting fired at. Oh, he's got a little dinky blue laser. Okay. A wise plan. The future is now. Ours. You can colonize us. Another planet joins the unity. Yeah, hopefully this time we don't get them bombed into oblivion. Hiccups. My bad. So now there's one planet left on my wish list. But we need to start establishing defenses like everywhere. This fleet I think can stay here for now. Because I mean the one jump away from intercepting things there or there. And then we will have Buck's fleet. Hopefully over on Algoa here. Which you might actually have to take off the enemy. 
Like, uh, seemed like their discipleship came from that way. And this is all Buck has with him at the minute, a couple of drone Your ships, thoughts. and Buck himself. Uh, clairvoyance, but not autocast. Homing Mine Squadron. That's, um, interesting. I think we're going to uh, try and get Buck a few more ships here. More credits are required. It's just a scout frigate. It's not a problem. I guess, I don't know. I'm not going to mention that. It's about the new Sins Rebellion thing. Planet development complete. Well, did he just... It didn't even attack him, did it? Oh, it did. Oh, that looks pretty badass. This light shall cleanse. Do I have interplanetary trade research yet? Jumping. I do. So I'll just start posting a few things around. Get myself some more income. That'll be nice. Yeah, apparently it's back to uh, auto deploy. I guess that's because it was I was on Rebellion last night. I, I get confused because um no Rebellion is actually all of the other games from Sins as well. Like uh, the Diplomacy, entrenchment, and sins itself. So, see, your books fleet's looking a little bit more healthy now. Planet development complete. Still not willing to send this against a uh, planet, but at least it's better than what he did have. Next, I want a couple of those just in case the enemy has a uh, fleet there. Uh, not a fleet, a uh, colony. Let's see, what can we actually do with this? We can do this to stop it being so crap, and then we can get a couple of tactical slots on it. So uh, we can at least use that for something. I can now have ten. No five of each. Untouched. Construction finished. There's the uh, defender vessels. In case I forgot to actually give you a close up yesterday, just turrets everywhere, for taking out a pirate raid is inevitable. fighters and stuff. No swarm untouched. I think we're gonna wait and make sure we don't get ambushed by these damn pirates. Don't particularly want to be fighting them. The price on our head has increased. Construction this part I always find I ignore pretty much everything else that's going on and just watch the watch the bounty. Like I said, there are times when I do just prepare for being attacked by the pirates and just let them wear the bounty out. We'll just chuck it up a little bit more, that should be fine. Pirate raiders have departed. Lovely. So that's Buck's fleet at the moment. I think we'll get him a couple more. Um, I think what was it I said? I wanted purge vessels. Lovely. 
and then we'll uh, we'll go see if we can take that planet. We will need a colony ship from that place to go and help them. But all in all, we seem pretty safe so far. I mean, we have apparently the largest fleet, but it's split in two, so if one of them were to send all of their stuff, I'd imagine it would at least wipe out one fleet before the second one got there. Construction finished. Maybe even destroy them both, depending on how big the fleet actually was. Security, I want will be purged. I still think this uh, ship looks like a weird fruit dangling off a tree with that antenna. But uh, this is the one he wanted, so it's the one he's got. We will now, reach no longer. Clairvoyance. There. Great minds think alike. Aha! This isn't their planet. Heathens will be purged. That's interesting. Construction finished. Seems like I'm overestimating my enemies here. What difficulty do I have them on? Uh, can't check. Okay. Well, we are going to uh, get your desires. Bucks fleet over to this wormhole, ready to attack them. Knowledge acquired. And uh, we're going to start putting up our defences now on the outer rim planets. Let's see here. Grab a couple of beam defences for you. More planet upgrades are needed. I'll do for now. Just enough to uh, discourage an attack until we get something a little better planned out. We have the fleet here, so it's not as important to get this one guarded. Our fleet has arrived. This one has a space station, so it's pretty well set. Scythia. We will wait no longer. I actually forgot to rename this one. We answer the call. Now these wormholes actually have pretty heavy gravity. Towards the center of this uh, this disc, this is the uh, the gravity effect that Thessalia has. Knowledge acquired. And uh, the closer you get to the center of a gravity well, normally the heavier the gravity is, so your ships will actually move slower in response to the uh, the heavier gravity. Just something I thought some of you might find interesting. Get a couple of these influence towers going, they're always nice to have. Construction finished. Seems like these uh, beam defense platforms take longer than I thought they would to build. 
but it's not the end of the world. They do look quite nice though, I must admit. What's on your mind? Time for another battle. As you wish. Make ready for phase jump. At least they had the good sense to go after the Javelis first. Oh, there go all the bombers. Looks finished. like they've chosen a, di a different target. The Kodiak Heavy Cruiser. But there goes one of the Javelis. You see, fighters... People tend to underestimate the damage these things do. You know, they can, after all, take out some of the uh, the frigates in two or three passes with just a couple of them. So now imagine an entire carrier fleet. It's um, And with upgraded stuff, it gets pretty scary when you come up against one of them. It tends to be just about the only way that you can play as the tech towards the end, so it's ten... Or it tends to be the way a lot of people play as the tech towards the end, so I try and avoid playing that way, just because um, it's boring, predictable, and wouldn't make for an interesting let's play. Legions of uh, about the Starbase channel their talents to unleash Sonic Surge attacks against enemies at extreme range. I'll have it. Enhanced preservation, I'll take it. That Starbase, I assume at some point is going to be on the front line of a pirate raid, and I would like it to be at its strongest. Oh, Book of Guns leveled up. Lovely. Let's actually have a look at him firing here. I know he, he's not got uh, huge amounts of weapons on him. Apparently he's uh, impervious to weapon blasts from those other ships. Looks like all he has is just those two guns at the front there and two smaller ones on the side maybe. It is destined. I'll be a little disappointed if that's all this does have. Uh, completely mind fucks an enemy ship. Uh, that's useful, I must admit. Hopefully this siege frigate will die fairly soon. There we go, that should be it gone. And uh what the hell? Oh. Our anima stand ready. Your time Apparently, has come. Can I not attack this crap? What the hell? Your thoughts. Why did that leave? I did not tell him to do that. Our fleet has arrived. Looks like this is going to be a pretty heavily contested area. Construction finished. If they're here before I've even actually colonized the place. Make ready for phase jump. Well, I definitely want to get this held as a stronghold. So I think this is where Buck's fleet's going to stop. Once Buck gets his ass back. Why can't I attack that guy? No threat oh, shall I linger. Can. That's lovely. So now we'll actually see just how durable one of these ships is. So it looks to me like this one has 
many, many more weapons, or has been attacked by many, many more weapons. And, uh, where's Book? Seriously, where the hell did Book go? Ah, oh, he's back, okay. Back to return the favour for the other ship, sending him away like that. I think it was the other ship that we told him to jump. Honestly, I'm not sure what happened. I might have just misclicked, to be completely honest. I want everyone attacking him. I don't want this guy getting away. that ability as well. I didn't really read what that one did, but he's got it now. Construction finished. Now this guy in book are just a little standoff. actually doing that to him, disabling everything on him. In that case, book has been pretty badass at the Oh wow. That looked painful. Oh, holy Jesus. Send this fleet over afraid. as well. Because uh, these guys subtle. are putting up far more of a fight than I would like them to. The Unity senses of pirate raid is inevitable. Uh, I just want to order the cycle vessels over there. Finished. We'll give him more of this uh, Reverer, where he messes up the enemy ships. All bounty has been depleted. I'm not sure how that happened because I haven't fought any pirates. Strength and unity. But it's fine. I can live with it. I'm trying to save my money so that I can uh, build more defenses and that kind of stuff. Phase jump underway. Especially on the likes of this planet, which is now pretty much completely undefended. More planet upgrades are needed. Strength That's probably going to be a, a choke point as well as that one. To be fair, all of my defensive line is pretty much going to be on an enemy's border, so I need this sorted. Oh, this isn't good. I mean, it does you look like both himself is winning but his fleet's taken a pound and unity construction finished strength and unity our fleet has arrived no, they haven't. Don't get my hopes up like that. Oh, they're here with like a secret Planet ship or something. Actually, complete. they're about to set off, and I'm pretty sure I wanted that guy over there as well. You know what? I can understand Strength him waiting. 
More planet upgrades are needed. They should retreat once uh, this next fleet gets here. Base jump underway. Hopefully, because it looks like they've just brought their own fleet in again. Strength and unity. I did want two fleets, but if I have to have one combined uber fleet to make this work, it'll have to do. Is that... I could have sworn they had a capital ship in here, so they do. Strength they have another one of the ones like Book. What's on your mind? Strength. I want it dead. That looks like they're on the retreat. Planet development towards complete. my planets. I don't like that. Kill it now. Strength and unity. That all was turning around good. Oh, and there's Fairy Goose. Finished. He knows the score. He's straight in there for this guy. And uh, even though Fairy Goose has been in service longer than uh, Book, Book has already seen more action than Fairy because we deployed him to this front. This ship shields and such are holding up a lot better than I would like them to. Construction finished. Uh, and uh, Book unity. just turned the ship off. Our just fl flipped the switch. And that was it. There, yeah, has he done it again? We answer the call. Strike. Yeah, he like distracted everyone. How very dare you. Strength and unity. Planet development complete. Construction finished. Yeah, this is Harmer. Oh Jesus. Our reinforcements have arrived. Who's this? Oh, they've got a capital ship here? Oh, not cool, dude. Not cool. Construction finished. We shall overcome. For the unity. Yes, yes, for the unity. Whatever. I'm a little busy pretending not to care. Wait, did he just bomb my planet? Construction finished. Our reinforcements have arrived. How's he leaving now? Ah, they're trying to spread their influence. Their vile, vile influence. Construction finished. I need this place to be, uh. Oh, Jesus, that's so smooth. Planet awesome. development complete. Construction finished. Let's get everyone queued up. We're gonna have to go back to the other planet and defend that. We answer the call. Nope, they've left. Okay. Our forces have engaged well, we're going to sit on this asteroid anyway. It's the easiest jumping finished. off point to most of my empire. It's a really weird place for all this, but never mind. Planet development complete. This will be nice when it's finished. Construction finished. What's on your mind? What lies before us? We shall overcome. We have this planet already, good. Planet development complete. Construction finished. 
I'm not sure what that ability is. I think it's the one from book revenge. here. Guidance. We're going to turn that off auto cast as well. Construction finished. And Furry managed to level himself up again. What's this one? Is force attack antagonize? Oh no. Detonate anti mana. We'll have that again. Oh, you son of a hooer. Construction You're finished. in some trouble. Yeah, you better turn around. Construction finished. I think he just gave himself a general. Oh, he just fled from another battle because uh, he's in some trouble. This guy might actually get picked off finished. by the fighters and bombers. I mean, I doubt it, but it's possible. Because there is quite a few in this fleet now. There goes the shields. He's just about to the edge of the ring, though. Yeah, this guy's gonna get away. But at least we, uh. Construction finished. At least you've given some extra war wounds to take home. Construction finished. More credits are required. Our anima stand ready. Let's just, uh, get them over there. Right then. Something else I wanted to do here. Yes, I wanted more of those uh, influence temples because he's actually spreading his influence through my planet. I don't like that one bit. Our fleet has arrived. But I think this episode's gone on long enough now. So, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.